Assuming that you put it where the sun is, it would extend to the orbit of Jupiter, a beast absolutely unstable and destined to detonate. It is among the most unmistakable sources of radio energy in the entire universe, conveying more energy than a billion suns. Betelgeuse, or the terrifying bug Jew, is a red giant star. If you placed it where the sun is, it would extend to the orbit of Jupiter. Gigantic, completely unpredictable, and also on the brink of detonation, it is an extraordinary celestial body. When we think of stars we likely imagine tiny, twinkling points in the night sky. This is how they appear from our vantage point on Earth. However, stars are entirely different in reality. One of the most prominent stars, Betelgeuse, is far larger than our Sun. For many years, this star has puzzled astronomers. Yet, something even more alarming has been happening with Betelgeuse, causing scientists and experts to become deeply concerned. Join us in this exploration as we uncover the magnificent new findings about Betelgeuse. Its impending destruction, as predicted by the James Webb Space Telescope, and what this development means for the universe and our lives on Earth. As physicist Michio Kaku explained, Betelgeuse is a colossal wonder, an enormous star that has fascinated astronomers for centuries. A Greek stargazer named Antonius was the first to identify it. This star is so massive that it can be seen in the night sky from Earth, especially during winter. If you are interested in astronomy, you have likely seen or heard about this star. The reddish-orange Betelgeuse marks the upper left shoulder of the Orion constellation. Betelgeuse is ancient and remains one of the most magnificent stars in the night sky. However, one remarkable aspect of its brightness is its inconsistency. It fluctuates. This variability is one of the star's unique traits, but it is not the only one. Let us delve into some of Betelgeuse's notable characteristics. Most stars visible in the night sky are incredibly distant from Earth. The closest star, Proxima Centauri, is 4.2 light years away. To grasp the concept of a light year, imagine traveling at the speed of light for an entire year. Light travels at approximately 186,000 miles per second, so the distance covered in a year is equivalent to one light year, billions of miles. When we say the nearest star is 4.2 light years away, we mean it is billions of miles from Earth. Now consider this. Some stars are even farther away, and Betelgeuse is one of them. It is located approximately 600 light years from Earth. Traveling to it at the speed of light would still take 600 years. Despite its vast distance, Betelgeuse shines brightly in our sky. Its brightness is due to its unique characteristics, such as its immense size and luminosity. Betelgeuse is approximately 1,000 times larger than the Sun with a radius recognized as hundreds of times that of the Sun. Its mass is estimated to be between 12 and 19 solar masses. A solar mass is the standard unit of mass used by astronomers, equivalent to about 2 times 1 zero superscript 3 kilograms. Scientists cannot determine Betelgeuse's precise mass because there are no planetary bodies orbiting it to serve as a comparison. Betelgeuse is also exceptionally bright, emitting light thousands of times more luminous than the Sun. It was aptly nicknamed a red giant. However, its brightness does not remain constant. It varies due to its pulsations. As Betelgeuse expands, it becomes brighter. As it contracts, it dims. This cycle can last anywhere from 10 to 100 days or even longer. A unique feature of Betelgeuse is its surface, which is covered in dark magnetic spots. These spots, with magnetic fields far stronger than those on the sun, disrupt the flow of hot gas to the star's surface, making these regions cooler. This explains why Betelgeuse is cooler than the Sun despite its massive size and luminosity. The Sun also has dark magnetic spots, but those on Betelgeuse are significantly larger and more numerous. To put this into perspective, some spots on Betelgeuse are twice the size of Earth. Additionally, Betelgeuse has a magnetic field many times stronger than that of the Sun. This strong magnetic field is why the outer layers of Betelgeuse, when observed through telescopes, appear to form loops or arcs. Betelgeuse has a surface temperature of about 3,500 K. This relatively low temperature contributes to its lower energy output compared to smaller, hotter stars like the Sun. Emanated by the star and its feeble red tone, Bugju is a red star. 
Yet it wasn't always red it transitioned to orange-red, and then, around quite a while back it slowly started changing into the red star we know today. This fact has led scientists to believe that the star is evolving. Bugju produces as much as 100,000 times more energy than the sun. It would have been a formidable competitor to Earth's sun if it weren't so far away. The fact that Bugju, which is 600 light-years away, can still be seen with the unaided eye at night is remarkable. Our sun is only 8.3 light minutes from Earth, which is why it appears so strong. If Bugju were somewhat closer, we would also be able to see it during the daytime. However, if it were to replace the sun, it would engulf or displace Earth and the other four inner planets due to its massive size. Even if it matched the sun's size, it would still emit more radiation. Bugju, also known as Betelgeuse, is an enormous star located in the constellation Orion, about 600 light years from Earth. Its colossal size is one of its most striking features. It is several hundred times greater than our Sun in radius and could easily encompass Jupiter's orbit if placed at the center of our solar system. This incredible size allows Bug Ju to appear as a disk rather than a point of light when viewed through powerful telescopes, unlike most other stars. Despite its immense size, Bug Ju is not the most massive star. Its mass ranges from about 12 to 20 times that of the Sun. This variation in mass estimates arises from the challenges of accurately measuring the mass of stars that lack companion stars or other objects to provide gravitational reference points. Even at its lower estimated mass, Bugju remains a massive celestial body. The brightness of Bugju is another key characteristic. It fluctuates over time, with its brightness varying from magnitude 0 to plus 1.6. For comparison, a magnitude zero star is about 2.5 times brighter than a magnitude plus one star. At its brightest, Bugju can ultimately be up to 100,000 times more luminous than our sun. This change is attributed to its pulsations, intermittent expansions and contractions caused by internal cycles within the star. When Bugju expands, it becomes brighter. When it contracts, it dims. These pulsations can last for years adding to its dynamic appearance in the night sky. Bugju's surface temperature is relatively low for such a large star, measuring around 3,500 Kelvin. This gives it the distinctive red hue typical of red supergiants nearing the end of their life cycles. Like other red supergiants, Bugju is in the late stages of stellar evolution. It has exhausted the hydrogen fuel in its core and has begun fusing heavier elements. This fusion process generates energy and causes the star to expand outward. The star's atmosphere is rich with complex physical phenomena. It exhibits dark magnetic spots on its surface, where the magnetic field is stronger than the surrounding areas. These spots inhibit the convection of heat, leading to cooler regions on the surface. Despite these cooler spots, Bugju remains a powerful, energetic star. Yet, it will eventually meet its end in a spectacular supernova. Betelgeuse is a massive star nearing the end of its life, and its likely fate will be dramatic. When it runs out of fuel, it will undergo an extreme process of fusion, creating heavier elements like helium and carbon. This will cause the star to expand to even greater sizes, making it one of the largest stars in the night sky before it dies in a massive explosion. The impact of a supernova is powerful enough to briefly outshine an entire galaxy. This phenomenon could potentially send shock waves through space, and Bugju may undergo such a destructive end very soon. While this fate is not imminent, scientists are carefully monitoring the star to learn more about the future of stars and the evolution of the universe. As Bugju approaches the end of its stellar life, astronomers are paying close attention to its behavior. The star is expected to eventually go supernova, an explosive event that will result in the ejection of its outer layers into space, leaving behind a dense core. This core could become a neutron star or collapse further into a black hole, depending on its mass. A supernova is a catastrophic event in a star's life cycle, signaling the final stages of its evolution. Bug Ju's potential supernova could be visible from Earth without the aid of a telescope, given its massive brightness and relative proximity. This explosion would release vast amounts of energy, creating heavy elements like iron and nickel, which are essential for the formation of planets and other celestial bodies. 
these elements would be dispersed throughout the universe, enriching the interstellar medium and contributing to the creation of future generations of stars and planets. Interestingly, scientists have detected unusual changes in Bug Ju's brightness in recent years, leading to speculation that the star could be on the brink of a supernova. However, despite these variations, it is challenging to predict precisely when the star will explode. Some experts have suggested that Bug Ju could go supernova within the next 100,000 years. A short time span in the life of the universe but far too distant to pinpoint exactly. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST has provided new insights into the star's behavior. Its infrared capabilities allow scientists to study the star's outer layers and magnetic fields in unprecedented detail. The JWST's findings have confirmed the star's ongoing changes, including its irregular brightness and potential instability. These observations offer valuable information about the processes leading up to a star's death, providing a better understanding of stellar evolution. Bug Ju's death will have far-reaching implications for the universe. The supernova shockwave could potentially trigger the formation of new stars in the surrounding region, continuing the cycle of stellar birth and death. Additionally, the elements produced by the explosion will spread throughout space, contributing to the building blocks of new worlds. In the grand scheme of cosmic evolution, the death of Betelgeuse will not only mark the end of one of the most massive stars we can observe but also pave the way for the next generation of celestial objects. While we won't be around to witness the star's final moments, the study of Betelgeuse provides valuable insights into the life cycles of stars and the dynamic nature of the universe. The research conducted on this star helps astronomers better understand the processes that govern stellar birth, life, and death, offering a glimpse into the fate of other stars with similar characteristics. In the future, scientists hope to continue studying Betelgeuse with advanced technologies and space observatories. The knowledge gained from the star will continue to shape our understanding of astronomy, helping us unlock the mysteries of how stars evolve and what their explosive deaths mean for the universe. As Betelgeuse, a massive and dynamic star, nears its inevitable demise, it is important to remember that the universe is constantly changing and evolving. New stars are born all the time and the energy released by supernovae like bug juice will ensure that the cycle of life and death in the universe continues. The legacy of bug Ju will live on, not only in the elements it produces but also in the knowledge it has provided to generations of astronomers and stargazers. By studying stars like Betelgeuse, we can continue to unravel the mysteries of our universe, better understanding the forces at work in the cosmos and our place within it. As we learn from these celestial giants, we are reminded of the vastness and complexity of space and the awe-inspiring processes that shape the universe we call home.